Good morning, everyone. Monday's on North Dakota Today mean one thing. We're hearing the latest North Dakota nice stories with Mana. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good How morning. are you? I'm wonderful. Um, so I have two fantastic stories today, and I'm looking at the screen here, and it's not the order I thought, so we're going to see how this turns out. <laughs> oh, that's fine. So the first one, it's snowy outside, yeah. which is the perfect time to start thinking about your springtime garden, okay. naturally. <laughs> so I want to bring this to you today from Bismarck. A woman named Bonnie Steiger uh, moved to a new house, and she had a beautiful garden, mm -hmm. and our beautiful garden plot, and she thought, what am I going to do with this that's no maintenance? Mm. And so she decided to do a pollinator garden. <gasps> and pollinators are the bees, yeah. birds, butterflies, and bees. So she bought a mix and spread it all over. Mm -hmm the universe <laughs> and what she found was that it was a ton of work in a wonderful way yeah uh, the quote she told me was um we think we're nurturing our garden but our garden nurtures us mm -hmm. and so she said along the way she learned that um uh for example butterflies monarchs are some of the few few butterflies that migrate and they need milkweed so she had to go along some of the ditches and plant some milkweed yeah. so that she could help her her butterflies move along. Mm -hmm. uh, she also she said that um, uh, she actually had to thin some things out. So she said, if you are thinking about doing this yeah. on your own, this is the time now to start thinking about what do you want to do next year. She's going to do some native North Dakota species, more monarchs, more monarch butterfly milkweed, yeah. and she has done such a wonderful job that she not only her garden plot in one year has become a certified pollinator garden, but wow. she's also a monarch way station. So she Yay. has a little plaque that goes up and says she's a monarch way station. And um, I love this so much mm -hmm. for a million different reasons. I think North Dakota, I'm making this stat up. So um, <laughs> I want to say that we are one of the like, top states for monarch butterflies. Okay. And so naturally, oh look, here's Mike. Um, so naturally, uh, were there photos? Yeah, there were photos, but you okay. know what? I'll put the photos, and there's some detail. She gave me some great detail on how to create a garden. Like, you need to have a monarch puddler, which is water and salt. And so, oh. and so I'm going to put all that on my website. Okay. And so that at, at noon, oh, okay, so let's talk about this one. Let's, let's quickly pivot to these beautiful photos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Mackenzie County School District. <laughs> um, every year for the past three and a half years, they do a spring and a fall community cleanup okay. and they take all the high school students out and they do all sorts of awesome stuff. Yeah. They uh, clean up, you can see here, they paint the park district. They do so much work for the park district that the park, and they're so appreciative that the park district plans for them. They paint the pools, they set out the bike, the, the bike rack stuff. Yeah. Oh, they, here they help clean, wash the uh, fire trucks mm -hmm. and they, um, uh, they also help help pe local people. They helped a farmer this year, and they said one of their favorite stories from this year was that the kids came back from helping this farmer, and they were like, we had the best time. Aww. He was so nice. He made us a sandwich. <laughs> um, and they wanted to go back next year. And so here are all these high school students. Look at how sweet and darling they are. I mean, I know they're almost adults, but you're, you know, actually what's nice is since they are high school students, mm -hmm. you're getting adults, almost adults, helping you. They put in 1,400 hours of volunteerism. Yeah. Wow. They do it twice a year. And actually, it came to them um, because uh, the Watford principal and, one, and the media director came from Devil's Lake, and they do the same thing in Devil's Lake. Hmm. And so this is something that has now moved west in our school district. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Did you ever do anything like that? Now? Yeah. You we, did? Yeah, we had the same requirement senior year, and it was like you had to earn so many volunteer hours for assignments, and so, yeah. I would have, okay, so when I went to school back in the dawn of time, <laughs> the only volunteerism we did is that we had to stand back for the flood, which you two probably weren't even born yet. And so I would have absolutely loved every single part of that. They, yeah. I, some of the pictures, I don't know if you noticed, they had t-shirts made for themselves. Sure, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I love that. I, but the last few weeks, I've talked about students doing volunteerism, mm -hmm. school-sponsored volunteerism, and I, I just think that is so wonderful. Yeah. I'm so proud to have these kind of programs for our kids. I mean, I'm a mom, so I'm, I, yeah. I think it's a wonderful skill for our kids to yeah. be able to have. I mean, look at how wonderful you turned out. <laughs> and you volunteered. Oh, who, me? No, 
No, it, it is really great though when it is. So these students aren't necessarily doing this on their own time. Some are, which is incredible. Yes. Uh, but you're not necessarily doing it. But then when it's assigned and you realize you have to do it, you're like, okay, I'll get through it. And then you have the best time. And you realize that you're going to learn so much and you meet so many incredible people and you're in situations you wouldn't have thought you would have been in in the first place. And oh. it's really just this full circle of, of why it all matters and why it all really helps the world go round. Exactly. I mean, yeah. I think exactly. And I think it's also so, so important too. I, I love the Watford one, our Mackenzie County Schools, I guess I should say. I think they go outside the city yeah. um, where they get to interact with some community members mm -hmm. that maybe don't have children in the district any longer. Mm -hmm. um, also, I think it's a great understanding. We talked about this last week of, uh, I know some of the programs help seniors. That is also just so wonderful to yeah. create these bridges and relationships. And so I just love it. So, yeah. Long story short, <laughs> leave today one, plan your pollinator garden for next yes. year. I'm going, I know I'm going to. I for, actually am not lip service. And then two, <laughs> um, congratulate every child that you know for being wonderful and then encourage them to also go out Aww. and do the same program at their own school. Yeah, that's wonderful. So yeah, thank you. I <laughs> love it. Okay, so how do we read the blog? How do we submit our stories? How do we get in touch? Yes, so please send me your stories and I'm gonna, I'll put all this up today too at, after lunch at NorthDakotaNice.com, which is, or NDNice.com. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much, like usual, for coming on and brightening our morning. Thank you. I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> so do we. All right, stick around, everybody. It is 920 here on North Dakota Today. Plenty more coming up.